Hi guys, it's Sherry. Today we are going to be playing with our gingerbread houses. I figure since Christmas is right around the corner, what a perfect time to play around with them. So the first thing that we are going to do is get our cutters and our stamps. And I'm going to make these a little bit different than I normally would because I want to make these really fun. I rolled out my brown Primo clay and I rolled it out to the thickest setting on my pasta machine. And I'm just going to stamp out a couple of these. So I want to just press down on them nicely, get a nice impression, and then just take my roller and roll that right into my clay. And you'll get these beautiful imprints. These are just absolutely gorgeous imprints. And then we take our cutters and cut out our shapes. I've been really playing around trying to figure out exactly how I want to do them because I do not want them plain. So initially I was just like, oh, let's put, you know, a little bit of mica powder on and leave it like that. But to me, that's a little boring. So I want to go a little bit um, above that. I love this one. Look how fun that shape is actually three different sets to this whole um, design. So that's a really cool set too. But I'm just gonna work with these two right now. So next, I just want to smooth out my edges and the cutters are really nice so you don't have much smoothing to do. I got these all from Create Along. I will put a link in the description for them. And we are going to leave these plain. I am not going to put mica powder on them because I actually am going to decorate them with multiple things. All right, so now let's put these in the oven. This is Primo Clay 275 for a half hour and then we will return. Okay guys, so my pieces are out of the oven. They're mostly cooled off, but while they are still a little warm, I'm gonna add my white on top. And the reason I'm gonna add white is to really make the impression stick out. I do not wanna do mica powder because the mica powder sometimes goes into the um, areas that I don't want it to go. So if I take my acrylic paint here and I just dab it on my finger, I can kinda just dab. And for the most part, it should go exactly where I want it to go. And you could do a light smooth over. And I don't need it to be on there thick. I just need it to be light. So that way we could really see the detail. And now with it being dry, all that that I got on there, I could clean that up. So I'm going to make this one really messy just to show you that I could clean that up. This is one of the reasons why I like to sometimes wait. So I'll get my wipey and then I could just go right over and wipe that all off and start over if I make a real big mess. And you can even run these under your sink. So it's, it's kind of nice to do it afterwards, just so you get the exact areas if you're a messy painter. For the most part, I'm usually pretty good, but I really just wanted these to be on the areas that I want it to be on, not on the inside of my um, cutout here. And this one, the imprint is not deep at the bottom, so I'm just going to wipe it. I painted that like a two-year-old. I haven't been feeling too well. I've been 
helping take care of somebody. Um, and she had COVID and I don't have it. I test it twice, but I am very under the weather. So my brain's kind of a little slow today. And I don't know what was that type of painting, but <laughs> it was not that great. Anyway, um, our next step is I am going to get my resin. And I like to use my J Diction resin. And I just have like a little ketchup container. And I'm going to fill this. I'm just going to put a little bit in here. I don't need a lot. But I need enough to do four of these. And then I'm going to use my, um, my white resin color. And I like to always mix the white. And I want this to be really nice and white. So I am going to add quite a bit. All right. So now once I know that it's mixed up well, I'm going to add a little bit of glitter. So I want this to be nice and shiny, sparkly. Because all our winter earrings always have this beautiful shimmer to them. So I want to make sure that the areas that I'm going to put this white on that represent snow have a beautiful shine to them. And yes, I am adding a lot of glitter. I'm going to put this right on one of my little trays here. And then I'm just going to take my little stick, which I absolutely love, and then just start dripping it right on here. And these little impressions that we put in here, the reason I'm, this is one of the reasons why you want to press down nice and hard is because it kind of stops the resin from going where you don't want it to go. I'm very shaky today, too. It's probably because I'm not feeling good. I haven't played with my clay for over a week due to all this and I really want to come on and do one. I'm just hoping these come out as nice as I want them to. You can see I am just kind of working slow with this. That way it stays right in the areas that I want it to stay. Because when you add that resin color, the resin does get thinner. And because I put a lot in there, the resin is much thinner than it normally is. So I really got to just drip it in there carefully. All right, now I'm going to put these right under my UV light while I work on the other ones. This has these beautiful little snowflakes on them. I almost hate to cover them up. I want to try to keep them open, but I don't think I can with the resin. So I think I'm just going to add my own little snowflakes on there because I love the snowflake look. I'll put those. Actually, you know what? Since I'm going to do snowflakes... Um, where are my snowflakes? I have them here somewhere, right here. So I have these little tiny snowflakes. I'm just going to add those right away since my resin is wet. Let me just grab my little snowflake and add a couple right on the roof on this one because I just love the idea of having the little snowflakes there. I'm trying to keep them right on top of the resin. I don't want it to sink into it. And let me see if we could get one more over here without sinking. There we go. Very cute. Okay. All right. So I don't know if you could see the little snowflakes I put up there. 
Next, I'm going to do a small clear layer. And it's going to be a thin layer. Let me get a clean one here. And then I'm just going to push that right up. I'm going to spread that through the entire bottom here. All right. And now I have these other nail art pieces. So I have like little candies. I have fruits. I have like the little balls. And with the little balls, I know I want to go around the edge here. So let's do, let's do red and white. Very cute. Oops. And we'll stick with the red and we'll stick with, let's see. Let's go with, that one's bent, so we're not going to use that one. We'll use that one for our little window. Let's lay these out. It'll be easier to see what we've really got going on. We could use these over here. These are like, I don't know, little, um, looks like grapefruit almost, but it looks very cute. And then I know somewhere I have a big cupcake that I saw earlier. There we go. We'll use the big cupcake for the door. That's cute. So very simple. I just want to make sure this is exactly where I want it. So these are very easy to um, complete. And it makes such a cute little um, simple project for people. So if you have to like rush and come up with a gift right away, these are perfect because you can make them in less than an hour. You can make a bunch of them in less than an hour, which is super nice. So if you have like a little party you're going to, you can make these really quick. All right, so I will put these under my UV light. Look how cute those look. How pretty are those? And so, so simple to do. All right, so now the next ones, these are gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna do the same concept. We're gonna add different things to them. I am going to put a little bit of the clear resin on top of here just to cover up any of the snowflake that may be popping up. Now remember, because you colored your resin white, you will have to put it under your light a little bit longer than you normally would to make sure it cures properly. And for my door, I'm actually going to use a little bit of glitter and I am going to add that last so this way my stick doesn't get full of glitter and then smears all over the place. This time, let's go with, we have little cupcakes. I just thought they were so cute right here. We'll add that to the window. We'll make our little window a cupcake because who doesn't want a cupcake window? Come on, get up there. And these are so cute, these little cupcakes. I love nail art stuff because you could really incorporate it with so many things. 
And for this big window, I'm thinking let's just do little pearls around it. We'll put like, let's do a little candy in the middle and then we'll put little pearls around it. Okay, and then we will go with our little red. I know red and pink sometimes seem funny, but this is our holiday season so we can put fun colors together. And we're just gonna glitter our door up. And I'm thinking we should put a little candy in the middle of our door as well. This helps separate it a bit. And let's go with something small. I want to have fun with this one. So I think just for fun, we'll go with like a little um, dragon fruit. Dragon fruit with our red glitter. I'm going to get some of that glitter and make sure it stays where I want it to go. There we go. And I'll put that under my light. And that's what we have. I wanna make sure that it's a little straighter. Oops, my little balls are kind of going all over. There we go. All right, guys, they're finally cured. Look how cute these little guys are. I think these houses came out so cute. And I love that all we did was use nail art on them. So to finish off the backs, I want to do some more nail art. And I have my nail foil glue. And all you do, let me put these on. Let me get my block. Let me get my block here. All you do is put a coat of the nail glue on. You want to make sure you get all your little um, edges as well. This way, when you put on your nail foil, it sticks and you get the whole thing covered. I love just adding little extra things to the backs of my earrings. And I thought this would be such a cute little thing to do, being that Christmas is right around the corner. So I ended up picking out a nail foil that has um, little gingerbread men and trees and stars and little bulbs and things like that. Okay, so now I'm going to stick this under my UV light for probably about 30 seconds only. So that was about 30 seconds. I want to make sure my little houses are facing the correct direction. There we go. Okay, so this is the foil that I picked. And I hope you can see how pretty that is. Oops. So I'm just going to put this right on. And then I will just rub it on there. Just get one of my wood blanks and just Go over, make sure I got every little area. Get my edge as well. Nope. That's not sticking, come on. 
If it doesn't stick, sometimes you need to put it under your light longer. And I'm not going to delete this out of my video because I want you guys to see what you need to do. So that little area. Oops. I normally don't have this much trouble. Come on. I'm going to stick these under for a little bit longer because that's what happens when you um, don't do it long enough. So I want to make sure that my stuff is ready. There we go. Okay. Okay. And let's get our next one. That one needs the little tree stuck on it. That one came out perfect. I got pretty that is. And last one. All right, that one came out really easy too. So two of them came out very easy, and then two I had a little struggle with, but that's okay. So lastly, I'm just going to finish these off with a little bit of resin. And I'm going to do a very thin layer of resin on each one. And I'm going to use a paintbrush to make it simple. And because I don't need a thick layer of this on. So I'm going to get an old paintbrush and just brush that on. All right, so I'll put these under for a minute. And while those are under the UV light for the minute, we are going to get our earring pieces together and our drill. Those are the same colors, right? Yes. Okay, and I always like to turn my um, earring findings right away. So slowly turn them. This way, when you do this, you don't have to add an extra jump ring. If you don't, you always have to add an extra jump ring. And then... Um, I just, I don't want to be bothered with that. So I just like to do this. So I'm just taking the little loop down here and turn it very slowly. If you do it too fast, you will snap your earring piece. So just take your time doing it. And then I'll get my jump rings. And now our pieces are done. Look how pretty. The back looks gorgeous. The front looks gorgeous. 
Next step is to drill our holes. So I wanna go right to the very top and I'm actually gonna go through the back because it'll just make it easier. And I'm gonna go right to the top and straight through. Okay, I wanna just fix this one up a little bit. It looks messy. I don't like messy. Okay. All right, so lastly, we take our jump rings, open those up, put them through the hole, add our fit in, or find in, I should say, and then reclose. And there is our beautiful earring. These were a lot of fun to make. I think this would be a really fun um, gift for um, a young girl to a older lady. If you have like those little parties that you do, some people do like parties at work or something, and you wanna do a quick little gift, this is perfect. Or even if, um, you know how you do the little stock and stuffers and you know, or you want to have some extra gifts just in case somebody stops by at your house. These are perfect because they work for little girls and they work for ladies. And there we go. So I really hope you guys enjoyed creating these pieces with me. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye.